us with lots of stuff to work on. Um, he looks pretty friendly right now. He's a little bit aggressive. Um, I had him in the cage, in the kennel, and while he was in the kennel, I tossed him a treat so that he could warm up to me because I couldn't even get him out of the car when I went to go pick him up. Um, not my car, the owner's car. I had to like step far away from them and she had to mount him up into my car because he was just barking at me the whole time and acting like he wanted to come for me. Um, he's acting real friendly right now, which is a little bit different. Um, I'm still really guarded and aware of what he's doing and where he's going and making sure I'm paying attention to him just in case. Um, he's a little bit nippy. He, like I said, when I was trying to toss the treat at him when he was in the kennel, um, he did try to go for my hand for a second. I'm not sure if he was testing the waters or what he was trying to do. Um, he's the same way when he sees men. He doesn't like any kind of men. He's scared of them or weary. I'm not sure exactly what it is. As far as I know, she tells me that he does know how to sit. He does know how to down. Um, really only when he feels like it. He pulls really hard. It's impossible to go for a nice walk with him. He, pull, he pulls the entire time and really hard. Um, he's really strong and he's one of the biggest German Shepherds I've actually trained with. Um, so really quick, I wanna run through some of the commands just to see. She said that he also knows a little bit of recall, but not really. I don't think so. Well, I, I, we're about to find out if he'll do it with me. So I'm gonna give him a little bit of slack. Toby, come. Toby. Toby. Toby, sit. So he does know how to sit. Toby, down. I'm not going to get too close to the ground because I don't want to put my face where his face is. Toby, down. Obviously, we've got a lot of work to do with Toby, so let's check back in two weeks and see how Toby is doing.
Just my work now that I do. 